Well, hello, welcome to Izzy Siro. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do a Aquarius Love Prediction reading for May 15th through May 21st. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it. Leave the rest. In addition, please know the energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else. That's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled, honored, and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my lovable, kind, sweet Aquarius. Show me spirit, guys. What's going on, my friendly, lovable Aquariuses? Let's see, Aquas, what you got going on. Let's see. Strength card. Six of Wands. The Magician. Nine of Wands. And the Seven of Wands. Huh. You know, I immediately see that this reading is for a man. I don't know, but that's just what I see. Because here's a strength card that's leading your reading. The strength card can represent a Leo person. But more importantly... The, the strength card just represents, represents the Leo sun sign. Remember, this is a general read, so it can be anyone. But this strength card here tells me there is someone. In, this is a, mm, there is someone that's trying to bring somebody in. And when I say bring somebody in, this is someone that you've fallen in love with, but they are still out there. They have other men. They have other people. They kick it. They go out to the clubs. They do what they want to do. They are they're kind of somewhat of a wild person. When I say wild, not in a bad way. They're just doing what they do. That's just what they do. But but you know that there's something. If you're a man listening to me, you know that there's just something in this person. They have it. They have the it factor. What you want. They have the it factor. And you want them, quite frankly. Um, and you know that if you get this person, this person is also, I think, a very good looking person. I, I think that they are um very, very good looking. I think they can have the pick of men that they want. And you happen to be one of the men that are that uh, actually deals with this person. But you're just one. And you want them to come in. Because when I say you want them to come in, you want them to calm down. You see how the woman is has her hand on a lion? No one's able to do that. But that's what you want. You want. Um, she wants to calm the situation. She wants him to calm down. You want this woman to calm down. To calm down. And when I say calm down and be with you. Because you think you're winning with this woman. You would be winning with this woman. No matter what though. Remember Leo. It is all about you. Even though you may not get this woman. Or you may she may not ever come to be your only your woman only. Remember it's about you as well. When I say it's about you. Remember you have love for yourself. You want this person to have love for you. Because you see something in this woman. And when I say you see something, you enjoy this woman. You realize this woman may be gorgeous, beautiful, but there's something in it. She's just got the it factor. And you want that it factor to be with you. So here I have also uh, the magician card, which is you're trying to manifest this woman into your life. And when I say manifest, you're, you're asking the universe for this woman. You're asking repeatedly for this woman. Um, you want this woman to be in your life. You are asking and hoping and wishing, praying, all of the above, because you are truly, and I still, and I see this, in love with this woman. Don't know if this woman is in love with you yet, but I'm going to keep reading to see what the spirit guys tell me. Now I see that you, <laughs> this you've you've tried with this woman over and over and over again. You've tried over and over again. You keep getting. No, 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 I don't want to be with you. I don't want a relationship with you. No, 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 but you're not going to stop. Uh, Leo, you're not going to, um, there, excuse me, I said Leo, this could, you might be a Leo woman, but you are not going to stop, Aquarius. You're not going to stop until you get this woman. 
because it's nine of wands lets me know that you're going to be persistent insistent you're going to do whatever it takes to get this woman now what's interesting i see the seven of wands and the seven of wands is that your friends are asking you what the flip is going on this is not how you normally um handle things you know you're normally the one that uh, says um, everybody wants you but this woman with this woman you want her this the, your friends are asking your, your your family what is going on why are you you know this you why are you going after this woman so very much why do you want this woman and here you are with the seven of wands being very defensive about it you're defensive because i want what i want what i want because i want this woman it's almost like one of those things and i always say this you want what you can't have, but you're going for it. And you're going to make sure that you get it. Hey, I'm just saying that's you want what you can't have, but this woman has the it factor for you. And you want this woman. People are questioning you, but you don't care because you're letting them know, don't, hey, this is what I want. And it's really nobody's business but mine. That's what I see. Now, you really don't normally, Aquarius, get off into anything like this because normally you're a loner. But this person has that factor, that it factor that brings you to them. So let's see. If this is your read, give me three to five minutes. I'm going to clarify the reading for you. I'm going to clarify the reading. Let's see what the spirit guys want you to know. Additional information. What additional information do the spirit guys want you to know about this particular person? About this person that you, you, you really, really want? What additional information do the spirit guys want you to know? Show me spirit guys. Why is the strength card here? Show me spirit guys. Oh, I have the emperor here. Mm. Now, the emperor is, is my Aries card. The emperor represents the Aries sun sign, but the emperor wants to control. With this strength card here, This um, you're definitely trying to control this situation. I don't know if you're going to be able to do it, though, with this person. Especially if the person is an Aries. It's going to be extremely hard for you to control this situation. And to calm them down. But the emperor wants to control. You want control of this woman. And that's all it's saying. You just want to control. You want to control them because you want them to be with you. And you only. So let's see why the six of wands is here. Show me spirit guys. Why is the six of wands here? Oh the hanged man. Oh you're very well aware. You, you, hey. There is nothing, you're on fire when it comes to this woman. This woman has you just lit up all the time. The, the hangman means that you're very aware. You're, I mean, you're very aware of what she can do for you because here's this six of wands. You know that you'll be winning with this woman and you're going to stick right in this pocket to get this woman because you know she has the it factor and you know exactly what you want. And you're, in a, you're aware of it as well. So let's see why the magician card is here. Show me why the magician card is here. Show me spirit guides. Oh, I got the nine of wands again. Whenever the spirit guides give you that same card in their reading, thank you, spirit guides, first and foremost. Thank you. That means that I am reading for whomever I'm reading for, whatever man I'm reading for. If you're a woman and listening, you could be this woman. So take it all in. It could go either way. But this nine of wands means that you're gonna be you're gonna be relentless to get this woman. You're gonna do whatever it takes, no matter how many times she tells you no, you're gonna keep coming back. You're going to come find different ways to be in her, her circle. You're going to get this woman. Uh, I'm not talking about stalking, not at all. I'm talking about you're going to manifest this. This person is coming to your life. This is person is what you want. Thank you, spirit guides. When you, whomever I'm reading for, that means that I'm telling you exactly what the spirit guides are, or, uh, want you to know. So let's see why the nine of wands is here again. Show me, spirit guides. Why is the nine of wands here again? Oh, I have a king of swords. A king of swords. You could have the king of swords mentality. You could. King of swords is very macho. King of swords is normally um, someone can be an air sign, Aquarius, um, Gemini. Um, but, you know, the king of swords tends to love from their head rather than their heart. But for some reason, you're not loving from your head anymore. You're loving from that heart space. King of Swords can be very uh, macho to a certain extent. Sometimes King of Swords can be emotionally unavailable. This is definitely Aquarius. This is you showing up because you have been the King of Swords before. But right now, this King of Swords energy, it's not really, you're not coming from your head. Your, your heart is for this person. You're invested in this person. 
And here's the nine of wands again, and you're not going to stop till you get them. You're not going to stop till you get this person. You're very macho when I say macho, not in a bad way, but you know, you're very manly. You know exactly what you want and you're going for what you want. You're going for what you want. Normally, like I said, the king of swords comes from the head rather than the heart, but this heart, your heart space is with this person. So let's see why the seven of wands is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the seven of wands here? Oh, I have the sun. Woo! The sun card. This person makes you, twirls your world, turns you upside down in a good way. That sun card is over that seven of wands. And that's what you're telling everybody when they ask you, what is it about this person? It's like, no, whenever I'm with them, I feel like I'm on cloud nine. I'm loving. I'm having a good time. I feel young again. I feel like a teenager. You're telling them all these things. And that's why you're defending this relationship because of the way they make you feel. You're normally a king of swords, but this person has, has changed you. This person has changed you. So let's look here at the very beginning, the strength card. The strength card is, can be a Leo person, can be anyone, but the strength card represents Leo, and there's this emperor, which represents the airy sun sign. So you and this person, whomever you are with, or whomever you want to be with, you want to control this situation. You want them to stop being, um, you want them to be with you. You want to calm them down. You want um, to, they're, they're just a person that's out there, still doing what they're doing, still kicking it, having a good time, but you want them to be yours. You um, they have the it factor and it's, it's whom you want. You want this person. You feel like you'll be winning with them and you're very well aware of what they have. You, you're aware with this hangman, you're very well aware of what they bring to the table. Of what they have, what causes you to want them so badly. You're trying to manifest them and no matter what with this nine of wands, you're going to keep doing this until you get them. Because you're going for them. You're a man and you are very, very persistent when it comes to them. Here's the nine of wands again. Thank you, spirit guys, telling you that. You're normally a king of swords. You're normally the person that people are chasing you. But you're chasing this woman. I see you chasing this woman. Because she has the it factor. And then I see here with the seven of wands. Because everybody's asking, what the flip? This is so unlike you. You are usually the person that's being chased. You're usually the person that doesn't fall like this. But you have fallen. And why? Because this sun card is here, the best card in the deck. You're going to get this woman because this sun card is all knowing, having a great time, enjoying each other, loving each other. This person brings you goodness. This is the it factor. This person is the it factor, and she will be the it factor for you. Remember, if you're a man, this is definitely your read. If you're a woman, then guess what? You can also relate to this because you may be the woman that they are looking at. So here, show me, oracles. What do you want, want, want to show me? What do you want to tell me, oracles? Show me what you wanted to tell me, oracles. Wow. It says within the next few months, and it says romance. That's what you're doing, and that's what you got. That's what I have.